Hi you guys, so today I'm going to be doing an apres nail tutorial. Uh, we're going to start with pushing back the cuticles. After we've exposed all of the new growth, then we're gonna take a fine sanding band and using uh, five rotations per minute with my Melody Susie drill, I'm just going to lightly buff off the shine off the natural nail. Uh, we are solely using this to remove the shine. We're not trying to file the nail down at all because we do want to maintain healthy nails. It's just to remove the shine to make sure that the product adheres fully. After the sanding band, I'm gonna take my cuticle bit, uh, still using it at five rotations per minute. I'm just gonna go around the uh, cuticle area. This is just gonna remove any dead cuticle from the nail plate that the sanding band couldn't remove. Now I'm just gonna remove the dust off of the nail plate with a nail brush just to get it ready for the next step. And here I'm just showing you how I prep the apres nails for application to the natural nail. Um, so I do file around the cuticle area of the apres nail just to make for a more flush application when applying it. And then here, I'm just showing you how the nail fits sidewall to sidewall. You do wanna make sure that it does fit perfectly to the natural nail. Um, if there is one that's too big and one that's too large, you do wanna go with the one that is too large and then just file it down to fit the size of the natural nail. If it's too small or if it's too large, you are gonna have lifting or breakage issues. So you do wanna make sure that it fits perfectly. Now, after I've sized all of the nails, I'm going to apply my dehydrator and primer. Uh, both are by the Apre line. I am using their full system with this uh, application today. After that, I'm just gonna take some Extend Gel and apply it to each of the natural nails. I am using the pot today. Um, I do normally use the bottle, which I really like, but I ran out of it. Um, I've been running out of it really quickly lately. I've found that it only lasts me about eight clients. Um, so this is my first time trying the pot. I do like it, but um, I just prefer the bottle. But yeah, we're just gonna apply this to each natural nail and then cure it for 60 seconds.
All right, now once the extend gel is applied to each of the natural nails, we're going to start applying the tips. Um, I also did forget to mention that um, inside of the tips, you do want to etch them. I use my sanding band or like a cuticle bit to etch the inside. Um, an alternative would be to apply primer. Lately, I have been doing both, um, but I don't really seem to have any issues with either one. So whichever you decide to do is up to you. Um, but as long as you do that, then you'll just apply a small amount of gel inside of the nail tip and then apply the nail tip to the natural nail at a 45 degree angle um, if you do it like this then you shouldn't get any bubbles as long as you have the right amount of gel um, that kind of does take a little while to figure out but once you get it it's really easy um, once you have the right amount of gel then you won't have any air bubbles you won't have any spots that are missing or any seepage out of the cuticle area or the free edge of the nail so once i apply the nail tip i hold it very very tight with my hand and then I flash cure it with this flashlight for at least 15 seconds. That's just gonna hold it in place until we do a full cure under the large lamp for a full 60 seconds. And you do wanna move your finger um, as you're curing it with the flash lamp just to make sure that you've got all of the areas. So if you're holding it with your finger at the cuticle area, you just wanna move that, move your finger from the cuticle area after like 10 seconds and then get that area that your finger was covering. And then there is more of a close up to show you how to apply the nail. Like I said, you just wanna make sure that you apply it at a 45 degree angle, and then the gel should be applied correctly with no air bubbles. Now at this step, I am doing the encapsulated nail. I do have one encapsulated nail on each hand. Um, I'm encapsulating butterflies as well as some glitter. The way that I encapsulate, I do it underneath of the nail. Um, so if you were polishing the nails, it would not be on that portion, it would be on the bottom portion of the nail. And since I'm doing butterflies, the butterflies are really straight and the nails are curved. Since I am using a sculpted coffin nail, so I apply a thin layer of extend gel to the underside of the nail tip and then I apply one butterfly and I'm holding it with the opposite end of my uh, crystal pusher and then I flash cure with my flashlight while I'm holding it down just to make sure that the butterfly lays flat inside of the nail because um, prior to doing this I would just lay all the butterflies in there and then cure all together without holding them and then the butterflies there would be like an air bubble underneath and it just didn't look it didn't look clean or uniform so now I hold each one in place and cure as I go If you're using something like a fine glitter, you don't have to do this, but since like I said, the butterflies, they're straight and the nail is curved, you should hold it in place just to make sure that it will lay flat. Now I'm just getting out the glitter um, and I'm just gonna lightly dust the glitter onto the nail after applying another very thin layer of extend gel um, mind you these layers do have to be really thin because if you apply too much then the nail is just going to be too bulky or it's not going to lay flat onto the cuticle area and it's going to look like a press on it's just not going to look right at all so you got to make sure the layers are very very thin and then i just lightly dust the glitter on top of that and then I'll flash cure one more time before applying another small amount of extend gel so I can get ready to apply it to the nail.
And right now, here's where I am applying the gel to the nail. Sorry, it's out of frame, but I'm just applying it to the nail um, on the portion that will be touching the natural nail. And then any excess that's on the brush, I just kind of wipe it off onto the underside of the cuticle area of the nail, if that makes sense. And then again, I apply it at a 45 degree angle, hold it with my finger in place while I cure it. And then I'll move my finger out of the way to flash cure that portion as well that my finger was covering, just to make sure that it holds in place before I get to fully cure it in the lamp. And here I'm just applying some extend gel underneath of the encapsulated nail and then this is just going to make sure that the glitter and the butterflies are fully encased in the nail so they don't have like any rough edges or anything nothing gets stuck or comes out of the nail just from everyday wear and then I'll cure for a full 60 seconds and now using um, either 7 or 8 RPM, I'll use my cuticle bit just to clean up the cuticle areas. Um, I didn't really have any gel seep out of the cuticle area, but I always do this just to make sure that everything is flush. Um, especially since I'm going to be polishing this, it doesn't, I don't want anything to look like bulky or have anything look out of place. Right, and now I'm just going to um, touch up the shape a little bit um, they do have like kind of a ledge on the um, outer end of the tip where I'm filing now um, I am gonna be filing the pinky a lot more though because it is significantly longer than the rest of the nails and I just prefer mine to be a little bit shorter since the pinky is the smallest finger um, but of course that's up to you but yeah, I'm just shaping up uh, the nail tip now. It doesn't take that long since they are pre-shaped, but I always like to go over all of them anyway just to make sure everything is perfect. And now I'm just gonna buff all the nails. I just do this because I find that the polish adheres a lot better to um, a freshly buffed surface versus the top of the upright nail is normally shiny so I just don't feel like it adheres as well without buffing it. All right, and now I'm just holding up the client's hands um, on the opposite way so I can see their view, just so I can make sure that everything is straight. Um, after that, I brushed the nails off with the nail brush again, and it was had a little bit of acetone on it just to get off any debris. Um, I typically would use alcohol, like if I was doing acrylic nails, but alcohol will turn the upright nails white, so I always use acetone. And then um, after that, I'm just going ahead and polishing. This is a Born Pretty polish. I absolutely love this polish. I used to use this color with acrylic nails all the time and I didn't think that there was a polish like this. So I was super excited to find one by Born Pretty. And so after each coat of polishing, I always wipe off the edges of the nails just to maintain the shape. Because um, if you don't, then it can kind of make your nails um, 
more like rounded so instead of like a coffin shape you can end up with a squoval shape um it just really messes up the shape so I always wipe off the edges just to maintain that shape um especially since I don't want to have to file or anything again after I've already painted everything So I'll do two coats of the polish on each hand and then now I'm just taking that same brush that I used to apply the extend gel. Um, it's just dipped in a little bit of acetone and wiped around the cuticle area just to make sure that everything is flush. Um, so now I'm going to be doing the marble design. This is really easy. Um, just take any two or more colors of your choice. Um, just apply the base color like I did and then apply the second color just kind of haphazardly up over the nail and then I just take the same brush again and it's dipped in acetone and I just kind of dab it until I get the marble design that I like and once I have the design that I like I will flash cure it with the flashlight um, just to make sure everything stays in place uh, so I can go ahead and move on to the next step and apply the gold foil. And you can apply as many layers of the polish for the marble that you like. Um, I do find that when I do more, it gives it like more depth. Um, but when I did it like this with just one coat, it looked good to me, so I just left it like that. And then for my foil, I just kind of break it up in um, like with some tweezers just to get small pieces because that's what I was going for with this look. And I just kind of apply it along the marble line um, that I made with the mauve color polish. And this foil, it just is sticking to the nail from the tacky layer of the gel polish. I didn't apply any glue or foil gel or anything. And then this is what it looked like after I did uh, those two designs. I added a few cuticle crystals. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get that on camera, but I just applied them to the cuticle area of the index finger. And then here, I'm just applying some top coat by a prey you can see um, how shiny it made the encapsulated nail I really like this top coat it's really shiny and it's not too thick or too thin and the same with the top coat I'm just swiping off the edges of the nail just to maintain that shape Now here I'm applying top coat again just to the underside of the nails, um, especially on the encapsulated nail you want to do it underneath just to maintain um, that shiny like glass look. But I did it on all of the nails, um, not only because it adds a little bit of extra strength, but also in case there's any extra gel that has come out underneath of the nail, um, it'll just make sure that that's not like sticky and nothing will stick to that excess gel. Um, and here I'm just applying cuticle oil to each of the nails so we can finish this set.
And here is the finished look. They turned out so beautiful and they were so easy. Um, I hope you guys like them. If you do, uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.